All right, so we're doing the lymphatic components of each of these three torsos. So let's start with this guy here. This guy has a couple of cervical nodes, a couple of axillary lymph nodes. Looks like four inguinal lymph nodes. And we go inside, we can see the cisterna chile and we can see the thoracic duct traveling up and it's gonna come up behind the subclavian and here's a piece of the left subclavian that's gonna to attach to the subclavian vein. And that's gonna drain the entire left side of the head, trunk, both legs. Mm -hmm. We look at this guy, here we can see the actual attachment of the thoracic duct to the subclavian. Okay? There's also a right lymphatic duct, but we don't see it on any of our models. That drains the right side of the head, right arm, and right side of the chunk. Uh, you can see, as far as lymphatics go, that's really all that we have on that model, all right? And if we go to this guy, well, we have some of the tonsils. We have the palatine and deep inside there behind the nose, the pharyngeal. These are salivary glands, don't confuse them. We have the connection of the thoracic duct again to the subclavian, okay? If we pop this off, we can see what we'll call lymphatic nodes and vessels, pelvic nodes and vessels, and inguinal nodes and vessels and we have the veriform appendix coming off of the cecum, all parts of our lymphatic system. 